Gold, a shiny, valuable metal that's the backbone of many of the world's economies. When you think about wealth, there's a good chance gold pops into mind, and we wouldn't hold that against you. But what if we told you there's a lot more to gold than meets the eye? In this video, we'll tell you 15 things about gold you probably didn't know, and at least a few of them are sure to leave you surprised. So let's get to it. Welcome to Alux. Number one, it's malleable and ductile. Gold is extremely malleable, and it can be rolled into very thin sheets. Gilding or gold leafing is a centuries-old technique. Raw gold was beaten between pieces of leather by traditional artisans until it was so thin it was nearly transparent. A single ounce of gold can be hammered thin enough to cover a surface area of more than 9 square meters. That's 96.9 .9 square feet. The gold leaf can be as thin as 0.18 microns, or 7 millionths of an inch, making a stack of 7,055 sheets no more than a centimeter thick. It can also be thinned down to the tiniest of wires. One ounce of gold can be pulled into 80 kilometers, or 50 miles, of gold wire, measuring 5 microns thick. A micron is the measurement for millionths of a meter. The diameter of the sample is only 0.2 millimeters, or 0.008 inches. Number 2. Chinese Royalty The Chinese gold mining sector is also the world's largest national gold producer, in addition to being the world's largest importer and consumer of gold. China produced 453.5 tons of gold from mining operations in 2016, according to the China Gold Association, keeping its position as the world's greatest gold producer for the 10th year in a row. Since 2007, China's annual gold mining output has increased by 62%, first surpassing 300 tons in 2009, then 400 tons in 2011. By 2014, it had produced a total of 478 tons of gold, a new high. Number 3. Glittering Oceans Are you looking for gold or on the lookout for the next gold rush? Well, the oceans are a fantastic location to look, but it's not as simple as gold panning. Around 20 million tons of gold can be found in ocean waters around the world. And when I say in, I'm referring to the fact that there's gold in the ocean water. Unfortunately, though, because the concentration is on the order of parts per trillion, obtaining it is quite challenging. There's currently no cost-effective method for extracting gold from seawater that is economical. However, many eager innovators and investors, both real and fraudulent, will not be discouraged. Number 4. Ancient Gold Diamonds may last forever, but refined gold has only been around since 4500 BC. At least, archaeologists believe a gold bead, as big as an eighth of an inch discovered in Bulgaria, dates back to that time period. According to Reuters' Angel Karasmyov, the tiny jewelry is thought to be the oldest piece of processed gold ever discovered in Europe, if not the world. The Varna Gold, a cache of gold discovered in a necropolis outside of the Black Sea port of Varna, is likely to precede the previous earliest gold items. Archaeologists discovered 13 pounds of gold objects buried in the necropolis between 1972 and 1991. The cache in Varna is a bit of a mystery. The locals were thought to be farmers who had come from the Anatolia Peninsula only a few centuries before, so it's still a mystery how they were able to accomplish copper and gold smelting in such a short period of time. If the dating is correct, this new bead will stretch their metalworking mystery back another 200 years. Number 5. Not the Most Expensive Gold actually isn't the most expensive metal in the world. Palladium and rhodium are the most expensive metals discovered on Earth, each costing significantly more than gold. Rhodium is a silver-white metallic element that is highly reflective and corrosion-resistant, and it costs a lot more than gold or platinum as the world's rarest and most valuable precious metal. 
Rhodium is primarily used in automotive catalytic converters, which minimize the number of nitrogen oxides discharged into the atmosphere. Palladium, on the other hand, has seen a surge in demand as automobile emissions rules have been tightened. The popularity of petrol automobiles with palladium catalytic converters over diesel vehicles with platinum catalytic converters has also contributed to its rise in demand. Number 6. Every cloud has a gold lining. A new study has found that earthquakes have the Midas touch. According to a model published in the March 17th issue of the journal Nature Geoscience, water in faults evaporates during an earthquake, depositing gold. According to Dion Weatherly, a geophysicist at the University of Queensland in Australia and the study's primary author, the model provides a quantitative mechanism for the link between gold and quartz seen in many of the world's gold deposits. When an earthquake occurs, it travels along a fault, which is a rupture in the ground. Many minor cracks can be found throughout the length of a large fault, which are joined by jogs that appear as rectangular voids. Faults are frequently lubricated by water, which fills up fractures and jogs. Number 7. Invincible Gold Gold is indestructible. As it stands, it's not possible to destroy gold on a molecular level with any naturally occurring substance on Earth. Pure gold is virtually indestructible. It'll not corrode, rust, or tarnish, and fire cannot destroy it. It's why all of the gold extracted from the Earth is still melted, remelted, and used over and over again. A great example of this is the Perth Mint in Australia, which produces well-known silver and gold bullion coins. They host a public gold pour multiple times a day. Since 1993, they've melted and recast the same gold bar over 65,000 times. Throughout this time, none of the recast gold has been irrevocably destroyed. Nuclear reactions are the only way gold can be genuinely destroyed. However, using aqua regia, a mixture of hydrochloric and nitric acids, it is possible to dissolve gold. But even still, this doesn't imply the gold is ruined as a result of its exposure. It instead occurs as gold particles in a more widely scattered form after dissolving. Number 8. An Edible Metal since ancient times, gold has been utilized in medicine, dentistry, and as a food decoration element. Gold is chemically inert, and it doesn't easily decompose, but experts claim that pure edible gold doesn't degrade or disintegrate in the bloodstream, and as a result, it's excreted from the body as a waste product. However, not much is said about edible gold, and a lot relies on how much of it is consumed. Gold nanoparticles, on the other hand, may cause hypersensitivity to metals if administered directly, and it might cause damage to cell membranes. But when it comes to eating edible gold flakes in drinks, sweets, or delicacies, the gold particles are large, making it difficult for them to get through cell membranes and cause any damage. And as a result, it's thought to be safe for consumption. It just might glimmer on the way down the toilet when you flush. Number 9. Golden Humans The human body is made up of numerous different elements, and gold is one of the lesser known ones. A person with a 70 kilogram body would have a total mass of 0.2 milligrams of gold within them. If a trace amount of gold is transformed into a solid cube of refined gold, it'll measure 0.22 millimeters. And you know, the actual point of the human body containing gold has recently been determined. It plays a vital role in health and maintenance of the joints. And even more interestingly, being a good conductor of electricity, it actually helps in transmitting electrical signals throughout the body. Number 10. Extreme Creation Gold owes its status as a precious metal to its rarity. All of the gold mined throughout history would fit into a square box with sides around 20 meters in length. 
And that's not because of a failure to mine more. Gold is rare throughout the universe because it's a relatively hefty atom, consisting of 79 protons and 118 neutrons. That makes it hard to produce, even in the incredible heat and pressure of the chemical forges of a supernovae, the deaths of giant stars responsible for creating most chemical elements. There's even skepticism over a supernovae's ability to do the job. According to a new study, even more violent occurrences, like collisions between neutron stars or dead stars' ultra-dense cores, may be required. So it's no surprise the stuff is pretty pricey. Number 11. Mind Away According to the most recent estimates, roughly 205,238 tons of gold have been mined throughout history, with around two-thirds mined since 1950. And because gold is practically indestructible, almost all of it is still around in some form or another. If every ounce of gold was put next to each other, the resulting cube of pure gold would only be 22 meters long on either side. New technology might make it viable to extract some known deposits that are currently inaccessible due to cost. Big data, artificial intelligence, and smart data mining are some of the most recent breakthroughs, all of which have the potential to improve operations and save costs. Robotics are already being utilized at several mine exploration sites, and they're likely to become more common in the future. Number 12 excrement of the gods. Gold had symbolic and spiritual significance for the Aztecs and many other groups of people in ancient America. In fact, the word for gold in Nahuatl, the dialect of the Aztecs of Mexico, is Teocuitlatl, which means excrement of the gods. Gold was associated with leadership, power, wealth, and authority. The Aztec emperor, whose reign stretched from the Pacific Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico in the 16th century, had complete control over gold mines and industries within his domain. Despite the Aztecs' leadership and religious connotations for gold, the precious metal was only helpful to individuals when it was fashioned into jewelry or other spiritual symbols. In ancient Aztec society, gold was primarily used for personal decoration. And although some pieces are encapsulated, sophisticated religious symbolism, many of the items are just plain and simple jewelry pieces. Number 13. An Alchemist's Dream the eternal quest of alchemists to change base metals into gold was actually achieved to a certain degree in Soviet nuclear reactors, where radioactivity transformed some lead nuclei into gold. In the 1970s, it was found that a Russian nuclear research reactor on the shore of Lake Baikal had developed small fragments of gold on the lead shielding. These particles of gold had been formed by the intense energy of the nuclear reaction displacing protons from the lead atoms on the surface of the reactor shield. This was one of the earliest examples of lead to gold transmutation, a pursuit of centuries of alchemic experimentations. Number 14. Gold Producing Bacteria Gold, like many other elements, can undergo a biochemical cycle in which it's dissolved, redistributed, and eventually reconcentrated in Earth's sediment. No other life form on the planet has been as successful in infiltrating every environment as bacteria's microscopic single cells. And some of these bacteria are experts at cleaning precious metals, which is one of their numerous roles in life on Earth. Cupria vitis metallodurans, a metal-eating bacteria, has been discovered to be able to swallow hazardous metal compounds while still having and producing microscopic gold nuggets as a side effect, according to an international team of researchers. Could this be the next big breakthrough in the conquest for more gold? Number 15. Alien Gold Gold prices are reaching seemingly unworldly highs these days, which may be appropriate given a study that concluded nearly all of the gold we humans treasure was likely delivered to Earth by gigantic planetoids that collided with Earth late in its development sometime four and a half billion years ago. 
The discoveries add to the growing body of evidence suggesting that gold, platinum, palladium, and other iron-loving metals found in the crusts and mantles of Earth, the Moon, and Mars come from impactors the size of many planets during our solar system's last phase of planet formation. According to several researchers from credible institutions, these gigantic collisions occurred within tens of millions of years of the considerably larger impact that generated our moon. And that's all from us today, Aluxer. What did you think of this one? Did you enjoy the video? Please let us know in the comments, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to make sure you're notified and never miss an upload. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.